All right, hey guys, this is Ronokbot. Um, today I'll be doing a um, a video on my fire alarm setup, just how I've wired everything and how I made everything work. I'm not going to be doing any testing. I'm just going to show you how I did everything. So here is my uh, Radionics D7022 control panel, and you notice there's only one tube of conduit coming out of it. Everything goes through there which I kind of violated the 33% rule, but you know what, that's okay. I mean, it's really short. Yeah, and none of the knockouts are punched out. And there are no more troubles. Um, I should have opened that. All that's in there is just, it's just a junction where all the wires go through here. Um, before I open the panel, um, I'll show you what I have. I have my uh, Firelight BG12, the broken one. Which is okay, that's just zone 1. This bedroom is zone 1, and the hallway is zone 2. Up there is one of my notification devices, and there's another one out in the hallway, which I won't be showing right now. But anyway, you notice this wire coming out the top. This four wire that goes behind that silver hose, which goes to the air vent. That white wire goes right next to the um, parabolic light um, to this BRK1812 smoke detector. And I want to thank the Carson 116 for helping me with this. Um, he helped me, um, he explained to me how to do the wiring, and he, he was just a big help with this. Um, and this is a 12 volt smoke detector, and this is a 24 volt panel. So, how I powered it was I went down to my plug down here, my fire alarm plug. That big transformer on the bottom is a 12 volt transformer. I zip tied it to the main panel cord and it goes into the bottom of the pole station. Get my keys and open the panel. I just capped it straight to the power um, power wires that go straight to the detector. And the other wires go straight into the zone. Yeah. And I do have batteries, but that detector will not operate when the power is out. I need to find a way to get an inverter and a battery or something but you know oh well I will be getting an i3 for zone 2 zone 2 will be going out in the hallway with the other alarm that's what these wires are waiting to be wired for I'm not gonna wire them yet until I get the alarm here it's in the mail right now so I guess I will unplug the panel and make it beep to prove that it's um, that the batteries work I'm not going to unplug it, I'm just going to click test on the plug, or actually, you know what, I'll unplug it. See it's not humming anymore, and the power light is blinking, which means it is in battery mode. Actually I had to put tape over that sounder because it's so loud, if I take it off look how much louder it is. Come on. Yeah, it's a whole lot more obnoxious. Anyway, so I'll silence that. Yeah. So once I take this off of, or put it back into the wall power, it will go out of trouble. So yeah, you can hear this transformer humming obnoxiously. <laughs> oh, and for some reason, that heat sink right there right behind that capacitor gets really hot sometimes just for no reason well I'm pretty sure there's a reason but I don't know why um... eventually um, thanks to fire alarm dude 5401 he taught me where the um, alarm relay is or not alarm relay the I don't know whatever you call it to trip other panels yeah it's in the OC communicator yeah, I'll do a full reset to demonstrate what it's like. First I'll disable. So if I disable, I can pull it. It goes into trouble. So I'm alarm one. Now we can uh, make sure that's actually... I don't have to reset this pull station because it's broken, but just to make sure sometimes the switch doesn't stick. So let's reset. It takes a minute for it to reset. It takes like 20 seconds. You can hear realize click every... Yep. 
yeah, it was one of those. Oh, it was for the smoke power, because it's supposed to cut the power to the smoke detector. Unfortunately for me, the smoke detector will not deactivate when you, your panel is in process of resetting. You have to unplug it manually. Because when I did a test with smoke, I couldn't take it out of alarm until I unplugged it and reset the panel. So it's kind of a pain to do that, but maybe once I get some relays, or the right kind of relays, I can use this. Anyway, um, the i3 will be going out in the hallway eventually. And by the way, I do have yet to get another battery for my exit sign up there so the emergency lights work. Because if I push the test button, it just turns off. So, And I will be refilming System Test 2. It'll be System Test 2.5. Because I accidentally wired the CH70 wrong. So I haven't changed any of the alarms yet. And I'm not going to do that until I3 gets here, which should be on the 3rd. Anyway, I thought you guys would be interested in how my system worked. So, um, even though I didn't show you the whole thing yet, you'll see in future videos. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. So, yeah, thanks for watching.